This is the Blaster Talk Show with Hannah Murray. Blaster Talk Show makes your day amazing. Hi everyone and welcome to Blaster Talk Show. My name is Hannah Marie and today I'm hosting a very talented musician. His name is Steve Marinangeli. Hi Steve, how are you? Hi, I'm doing very good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm feeling great, thank you, and happy to have you here on Blaster Talk Show. Well, I need to thank you for inviting me here on Blaster Talk Show. I really appreciate being here. Thank you. You're welcome. The pleasure is mine. Um, Steve, can you tell me what's new and what are you working on right now? Sure. Well, at the moment, I'm working on my next single, which will be released in 2021. Okay. Uh, I don't have a specific release date yet because I don't know when the song will be finished even though the lyrics and the instrumentals are already done. I just need to have the vocals done and I got some help for the vocals. So yeah, normally just the vocals need to be done and everything needs to be put together and then I can release it. Sounds great. And I'm also working and finishing my my songs for the debut album I'm releasing also in 2021. Right. And I'm really looking forward because I think there are some very good songs on it and I just can't wait to put it out and well have the reactions of the people and I want to know what they think of it so I'm very excited for it. We're also looking forward to it, so make sure to update us when it's released. And also, you released three singles by now, and I must say I like all the songs, but my favorite would be Sacrifice, definitely. So can you tell me more about this song? Yeah, thank you very much. Sacrifice is also one of my favorite songs I put out at the moment. You're welcome. And yeah, I. The song is about um, a relationships where two people are struggling. So the relationship isn't really going very well at the moment, but both of them they know it. So I did a duet out of the song because I was writing the songs from two kind of different perspectives. So that's the reason I wanted to do a duet for the song, like a male. Ver- uh, a male voice and a female voice. Yeah. And yeah, as I already said, the uh, song is about like the man knowing, oh, we have some problems going on. We need to try to solve them. I'm willing to sacrifice everything f- to maintain the relationship. And afterwards, the female is kind of thinking the same. But the problem in a lot of relationships is that they aren't really communicating too well. Yeah. So they know there are problems going on, but they are too scared to communicate or they don't know how to properly communicate with the other one. So, yes, that's one of the reasons they are struggling and a lot of problems could be solved by simply communicating. So that's kind of my main message I wanted to bring out with the song Sacrifice. That's an amazing message and... A really great song so you guys make sure to listen to song sacrifice by Steve Marinangeli and have you thought about shooting a music video for one of the songs yeah I actually just uh, shot a music video for my latest single it's you which I also already put out on YouTube so everyone can go check it out and I also have music videos for Sacrifice and Rescue Me, but they didn't got shots there. Those were just images of films. They already existed and they got put together in a in a little music video. But now it's you. It's the first really professional video shoot I had, which which I'm one of the characters who plays the role. And yeah, so I want to thank everybody who was involved in shooting the music video and even though I was very nervous to shoot it because it was my first ever uh, video shoot, I'm pleased with uh, how it came out and 
I'm happy that I could finally release it so everyone can see it. And in the future I'm planning on doing more music videos for my other songs. And we also have some ideas and I'm sure that at least there will be following two more music videos in the future. That sounds great. And can you tell me how does this current global situation impact your music career? Did you have a chance to have any concerts or maybe local gigs? Yeah, this current um, global situation, I must say that it didn't really impact me a lot in a negative way because as I'm not really the main singer of my songs, I am not doing any concerts or even local gigs. I'm uh, the producer and the uh, songwriter of my songs. So I go out and search for artists or singers who want to collaborate with me. So afterwards, I, in the future, I won't have concerts or gigs done by myself, but I'm sure that uh, the singers who are featuring on my songs, they could maybe sing some songs on their own co in their own con concerts. So in that uh, particular case, it didn't really impact my music in a negative way. And as I distributed all my songs on uh, online music platforms such as Spotify, Apple Music, and it even gets some radio airplay in some countries, uh, that's like the best way at the moment where I can share my music with other people, because despite the uh, current uh, restrictions everyone has has access to spotify or youtube so you don't have any restrictions in listening to music so that's at the moment the best uh, way i can put my music out for the people all right and can you tell me what's next for the upcoming months what are your plans yeah in the upcoming months i have planned to finish my my album and doing some uh, video shoots so I really don't have a more specific plan because it depends on how the situation here in Luxembourg will be yeah. so at the moment I can't really do a lot so I just need to be patient and wait for this pandemic to be over and yeah, we'll see what will come in the next months, but for sure I will release one more single and my album. That's, uh, and I also have some side projects, which I will be start working on in January, February. So I'm excited for them too. And are you maybe planning any duets or collabs in the future? Yeah, I'm not only planning duets in the future but also like I already mentioned I'm gonna start a side project yeah with another friend of mine so that's one of the things I'm planning on in the future and as I'm not the main singer on my songs but I also I sometimes provide the back vocals for my songs if you look at it like that Every song of mine is kind of a duet, or at least a future. So, yeah, you can uh, you can look forward to more duets or projects in the future for me. Okay, Steve, it was amazing talking to you so far, but now I have a few really random questions for you. So, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, but before that, we are taking a very short commercial break. So, everyone, stay with us. This season is brought to you by Malade Studios. Experts in custom lyric video production. Need lyric video? Try before you buy. Malade Studio. Okay, everyone, we're back. This is Blaster Talk Show. I have Steve here with me and he's ready for his first random question. Okay, Steve, so what's your favorite food? Oh, my favorite food. Yeah. Well, as I'm half Italian, I like pasta, I like pizza, I like every type of Italian food there is. And also in general I like I like burgers, I like 
I like cheese. I like so much fruit. So I can't really uh, choose one specific food. I like、uh, food in general. Is just my one of my favorite hobbies to eat. So yeah. Okay, sounds great. And my next question is: Are you a cat person or a dog person? And do you have any pets of your own? Well, I would say I'm more like a dog person because at the moment I have two dogs at home. Okay. Which are Bello and Diva. Oh. And since I was little, I only had dogs at home. So I would love to have some cats in the future. Because I like them too. I love nearly every pet, and yeah. But at the moment, I would say I'm more of a dog person because I'm just I'm used to having dogs at home. All right, amazing. And my next question for you is very interesting. If you had a choice between two superpowers, being invisible or flying, which one would you choose, and why? That's a tough question. I mean,、uh, being in Invisible or flying are both two good superpowers I would love to have. But if I would have to choose one, I would choose flying because it would be so easy to just fly away from from here to different countries, for example. Yeah. It would just be a feeling of being free and. Yeah, if you have like bad weather here, you can only just fly to a southern country where it is very warm and sunny. So, I would choose flying over being invisible. Yeah, flying would definitely be great. Okay, so last but definitely not the least,、uh, is there something you would like to say to your fans? Of course, there is. I would love to thank my fans for the overwhelming. Support they are giving me until now. I didn't really, I didn't really think it would be possible for me to have such a big support from people I know, or or also for people from people that I don't know. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart, and you won't regret it because I'm gonna put out、uh, some very good songs in the future, and I'm just happy to have such. Incredible fans, that, as I do. So, thank you very much. All right, and I also want to say thank you to you, Steve, for being our guest. Thank you so much for your time. It was great having you here on Blaster Talk Show, and I would be happy to talk to you again anytime. Yeah, sure. Again, thank you for having me, Blaster Talk Show. It was a pleasure for me. I enjoyed it very much, and I hope to talk to you soon. Yes, of course. We would love that. Okay, everyone. This was Blaster Talk Show. My name is Hannah Marie, and my guest. Make sure to follow Blaster Magazine on Facebook and Instagram. Would you like to be our guest? Contact our press team today.